the future of humanity must be in the imagination. That somehow we, the imagination is a place, it's a world, it's a straw being extended by the overmind to a drowning person. And we have to somehow marshal our wherewithal to march off into the imagination because it's the only safe haven there is. What we are cannot be unleashed on the surface of a planet without destroying that planet. I mean, we've only possessed serious technology for a hundred years. You know, before that, nobody had nothing. It was a big chore to melt metal and stuff like that. The big guns of being able to push matter and energy around on any significant scale have only been in our hands since 1945. And look, the planet is a complete mess. So, uh, if we envision an existence of hundreds of years and any kind of future for ourselves, we're going to have to make some, some major choices. Are we the stewards of the Earth to become kind of togged gardeners of a world reborn? Or are we, is it our Viking plunder genes? Do we want to build starships the size of Rhode Island and set out for Alpha Centura with plans to strike deeper into the nearby galaxy? What is it going to be? Or are these fantasies based on driving the future car using only the rear view mirror? Are there sideways options? What about these elf, fairy, other dimensions? How seriously can we take that? Uh, what about getting into the imagination through a kind of perfection of yoga? Can all these things that have always been reserved for beady-eyed holy people be democratized so they have impact in everybody's everyday life? Is that a possibility? Um, you know, uh, what has to happen is an abandonment of the idea that only certain classes of solutions will be considered. Like currently in the world, the only class of solutions that can be considered for any problem are solutions which make a buck. That's the main idea, and I already hear that the defense industrial complex is going to transform itself into the industrial detoxification complex. And they will just take those huge military budgets and uh, use all that money now to clean up the mess they made creating the weapons that now have to be destroyed in order to make a sane world. Is this nutty or what? I mean, it's like putting Nazis in charge of a Jewish resettlement program. You can't understand the thinking at all, you know?